Hello and welcome. I am Sai with Things Very Good and today I'm going to be answering a question by somebody in the comments section in my video, one of my videos, and that question is, is John Rose healthy or does John Rose look healthy to you? And John Rose is a fruitarian according to some, but he's basically a raw foodist who is a vegan. So he eats only raw food and he's a vegan. And he also, I just want to say really quick for the people who are the very strict fruitarians, he does eat nuts and seeds and he also eats so many greens that I think that most people would not ever be able to get this many greens in him. But I believe he, what he says about the greens. But we're going to go ahead and look at a couple of um, images and video clips from John Rose and then some other people who are also around his age. And so to give you some context, we're going to start off looking at a video where he's about maybe 67, 68, and then we're going to compare that to where he is now, which is 71, 72. And just for you to look and say, is John Rose healthy? And I think the real question here is, can fruitarians be healthy or can vegans be healthy long term? So let's go ahead and have a look at John Rose real quick. Hello. My name is John Rose, and in this video, I'd like to take a closer look at what I know. So this is John Rose at about 67, 66, and we're going to go ahead and compare this image to where he is now. Now we're looking at John Rose at 72 years old, maybe 71. Um, you can see signs of aging in his skin, and that might just be the sun, but I'm just going to give him credit and say yes. Comparing to average 72-year-olds, he does look healthy. I wouldn't say he necessarily looks healthy in his face, um, but his body looks like it's in pretty good shape. You can tell he takes care of himself. That being said, we're going to compare him to some other 72-year-olds who are fit and healthy just to get some context, and we're going to be looking at people who are not vegan, fruitarian, or vegetarian. Before we look at the other people that are healthy that are not vegetarian or vegan, I just want to say that John Rose does have this kind of papery thin look that a lot of these people who are kind of raw foodists have. And he, when I say papery thin, I mean it's, his skin looks thin in the sense that it doesn't just look like he has a very lean body. He looks like he's missing extra collagen and a little bit of cushion, especially around his shoulders where the bones are showing. I think that he might look better if he were to include some animal foods in his diet. But that being said, a very intelligent guy, a guy who I like, I think John Rose is a good person and he really believes in what he's doing. I just don't think that it necessarily is the most healthy way to be. But um, you can decide that for yourself what you think. But let's just get some context by going ahead and looking at some people who are not fruitarians or vegans or vegetarians who are fit between 70 and higher. So this person here on the left, he is 70 years old. You can see he looks very fit and healthy. And what I like about this gentleman is he looks like he's bouncy. He's like, has a lot of vitality. And you can see that he doesn't have any of this boniness. This guy is very fit and healthy. And he just looks like he's springy, I guess. And he's 70 years old, so that gives us a little comparison to what a person can look like without being a vegan. This next person here is a 99-year-old, and he's in good shape. I think he actually looks better in his skin. His skin does not look like it is paper thin, and he's, of course, way older than John Rose. And you can see that he looks healthy, and he's active, and shows you that you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian in order to be fit and healthy at an older age. And this woman is kind of funny. I'm not sure I'm a fan of her dancing, but I want to just show you this 70-year-old or 72-year-old woman who is not a vegan or vegetarian. And you can see that she is very fit. And you can definitely tell that she's not a vegan or vegetarian just by looking at her because she doesn't have any of this boniness or this thin skin 
this lady looks like she has a lot of vitality and um, she looks very healthy and strong. So again, not vegan or vegetarian. And this guy might be one of the more healthy looking 72 year olds. And if you just take a look at him, this guy has lots of muscle tone, doesn't look bony at all, looks very healthy. Obviously he's eating eggs here and I don't know if that's meat on the other side, but one way or another, not a vegan and looking very healthy at age 72, I would argue that he looks more healthy than John Rose. This woman here, 72 years old, looking very fit and healthy. You can take a look at her as um, you see more of her. She looks like she's not a vegan or vegetarian. She looks healthy and fit and 72 years old, arguably looking more healthy than John Rose. So going back to John Rose here, is he healthy? Yeah, let's give him the benefit of the doubt that he's healthier than the average 72 year old. But he also eats about three pounds of greens per day. He eats between 2,600 and 3,600 calories or so, as he says. And he really calculates this stuff. I believe it's true what he's saying. But if you're going to eat three pounds of greens a day, and you're going to eat nuts and seeds, and you're going to eat up to, I think he said 26 bananas sometimes, but basically about 2,500, 1,600 to 2,500 calories in fruit per day, along with the big salad, which is an average of like 900 calories, eating about three pounds of greens with maybe some seeds and stuff like that, then uh, that's pretty committed. So I would argue that it's very difficult to eat like he eats if you were going to go this route. But because he's getting enough calories and he's probably getting an abundance of nutrition, um, I still think he's lacking some things. But I would argue that if you're going to eat as a vegan, fruitarian kind of a person or a raw foodist, then you probably need to eat a lot of calories in order to maintain yourself. And I know there's an exception out there, the guy Eli Martyr. We still are digging to find out how many calories per day he really eats because what he is saying he's eating is about 1,200 calories, and I'm not sure that I believe that. So, all things considered, I want to know what do you think? Do you think that John Rose is healthy? Does he look healthy? And uh, how does he compare to other healthy people, in your opinion, who are not vegan or vegetarian? Because I do think, like I said, I think I said that... The real question here is, can fruitarians or vegans be healthy? So I want to know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up and share it and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sharing all your comments. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. I won't think twice when you're a Don't hesitate.